Hello, this is actually a pleasant day for every one of us. So what I'm going to provide you is the overview of the topics that should be taken up in General Physics 1. Okay, today I shall discuss the most essential learning competencies necessary for the first half of the first quarter. So this is all about uh, quantities in the physical world. Okay. One of the effective means and most direct way to acquire knowledge in nature is to observe the physical quantities. When we observe, one or more of our senses are used to gather information. Our skills in observations can be further extended by utilizing devices and applying the various mathematical concepts. If we would like to further understand the laws, the theories, and principles of physics, we should be knowledgeable or we must be equipped with knowledge in mathematics. So part of our activation of prior knowledge is recalling the concepts that we have taken up earlier during our previous studies in mathematics. So as they say, the language of physics is mathematics. And uh, we're going to recall or specifically activate our knowledge in algebra, trigonometry, geometry, and also statistics. Okay, in this particular task, we will study the following learning concepts. For lesson 1, measurement. So basic to the study of physics is uh, applying our knowledge in measurement. For lesson 2, relationships of physical quantities. We need to uh, determine what uh, relationship exists between various quantities that we're going to encounter in the study of physics. And for lesson 3, uh, we will explore uh, vectors and scalars. So this topic is one of uh, the most confusing. So after viewing this uh, learning video and learning notes that I provided, uh, you are expected to solved measurement problems involving conversion of units and expression of measurements in scientific notation. Okay? For number two, you should know how to differentiate accuracy from precision. And likewise, for number three, differentiate random errors from systematic errors. Okay, to continue for number four, you should know how to estimate errors from multiple measurements of physical quantity using variance. And for number five, differentiate vectors and scalar quantities. For number six, perform addition of vectors. For number seven, rewrite a vector in component form. And Ultimately, for number 8, you should know how to calculate directions and magnitude of vectors. Okay, that would be all for now. Uh, this is just an overview for uh, what you must learn and uh, what must be given to you and what you should expect from me. Okay? Uh, thank you for taking time to listen to this brief introduction for the subject, General Physics 1. Thank you. See you on my next video. Bye-bye.